Matthew and Josie, we were talking to them at breakfast this morning. <laughs> Wonderful conversation. 1809. Then the Swedes went and lost the war against Russia, and Finland became an autonomous <laughs> grand duchy. This little village here, or this little town, I should say. The fortress was for defending the whole world, uh, civil museum area with residents, people living there, really, 850 persons all around the year. And it's just for fun to go out there in the weekends. Oh, look there to the left. There they are drying carpets. There's wooden constructions there with the tables. They are for washing carpets and rugs. And I'm a little bit surprised that somebody been there washing some. Somebody did it. Maybe they had to if they had a puppy at home or something. Or well, you know how they are, or don't you? It's not easy. And most people over 50 as well. Here to the left hand side. There you have one of the many cafes in town. This is one of the oldest one. This is Ekberis from the 19th century. Your hotel is on the next parallel street to the left, but a few blocks there behind us. We cannot pass there because that street is one way in the other direction. But it's up here. The street where your hotel is is now coming there to the left hand side where the red bus is disappearing. And if you need to find that street, ask for the building here to the MPs are sitting. They've just had elections in April. It's a unicameral parliament. And uh, the elections were a little bit complicated, so we just had a government in the beginning of June with five different parties. To the right, there's a modern building with a wave-shaped white roof. That's the new library, Audi. And uh, that's definitely not. To the left, the greyish building with the tower, that is the National Museum, if you want to learn everything about Finnish history. And to the right, the Bike path is reddish, while the pedestrian should be on the dark side. level, there's a moose hiding in natural size there to the left. Blue R. And R actually stands for railroad in Finnish, but it happens to start on R too. So they are the street. I think you recognize where we are. This street cannot be avoided. It's Mannerheim again. Have the big departments there of Stockman there to the left. And so that's where people go for the lunch break to sit outside having lunch if they have sandwiches with them. Uh, that's where you go for a coffee or an ice cream. There's usually always street musicians there, and maybe sometimes even concerts at the bandstand. And the street on the other side there to the left is the Northern Esplanade. That is the shopping street number one for Finnish design shopping. So 
that's a nice place to stroll, do window shopping at least. There's also plenty of cafes there. Traditions here. So we have very Swedish traditions with fish, fish and meatballs. We have Eastern traditions closer to the Russian traditions with uh, all sorts of casseroles and stews. And then we have... And the president is elected in direct popular vote for six years. And he or she can be re-elected, but only once. Icebreakers, white and blue and yellow <coughs> and what did I say? White and blue, yeah, and yellow and black. There's one, two, three, four, five, at least six out there. don't have to pay too high heating bills so that's uh, that's the usual thing uh, it's not uh, and like the other side of the 
turned out on the base of this light cube right down by the floor there's a switch there which i could sort of like a green belt a green strip and this is something much more modestly modest inside they began to build these green belts uh, to make the streets wider and to uh, uh, limit the uh, spread of uh, fire in northern lake district so his uh, job as a doctor he listened to people An enterprising um, uh, gentleman that lived what where the restaurant is today. He lived above here. It's um, uh, it's a restaurant which is very much uh, frequented by diplomats. Uh, sort of uh, consists of several. Key 
shape and everything of the ships and uh, uh, the private uh, shipping companies, they provide the crew because it's also in their interest, of course, that this is functioning. I remember years and years ago uh, on a ferry in Denmark, uh, we got stuck in the ice. It was a ferry between uh, a couple of islands, Denmark, and we got stuck in the ice, but the uh, the captain on the ferry, we had been told that there was at least 12 hours wait for icebreaker assistance. So we were sort of a bit, uh, but um, the captain on our ferry on the side of the, of the steel of the ship, that's uh, after a few hours that gets a little bit uh, too much. Our first sort of regular sit down dinner <laughs> we're in a hotel and um, more about that later on but tonight is uh, insect repellent is to buy just a small container between two people <coughs> and uh, i know the thing about hotel was built in is uh, uh, they call it the national romantic style where they copy ancient uh, styles of architecture. And uh, we have one more building up ahead of us here on our left. That is the um, History Museum. It looks like a cathedral, but it is the Museum of History right opposite um, Finlandia Hall here on our right hand side. The Olympic Stadium over here on our left in the early 1950s. Um, it was um, a, almost superhuman effort. The Finnish will take it. And uh, the, the word, the term Sisu is something that we... This is a library here on our left, and that was one of the first buildings that uh, Alvar Alto designed. K-E-R-M-A, Kerma. Maito and Kerma. We've got a couple of hours drive to Mikkeli. As you can see, the market here is very typical for Finnish towns, uh, and uh, we'll... So when we get to the ski jump, we'll make a, a stop there, 15 minutes. No, no, they take everything off, so that they slide. Oh yeah, he's on the track now. <laughs> They're not that bad, but they are a bit salty, and uh, that's a very Scandinavian speciality. We absolutely love salty licorice. 
So I'm just going to pass the bag around and then please leave it up on the shelf there, our little library and uh, recharger uh, Nordic walking. And again, it's this very typical Finnish thing, practical, down to earth, easy solution. Nothing fancy, frilly, uh, anything like that, just simple, easy solutions. And uh, it's really a marvel that nobody thought out this walking stave or skiing stave walk, Nordic walking. Across the river, uh, the river Kymmene, K-Y-M-M-E-N-E. -E. See people's little holiday boats here. And then on the right, it continues further out and runs out into the Gulf of Finland. And then the separate bell tower. This is an old tradition that originates from Sweden. Also see this house here, this wooden house. We're going to see several. So the salmon fishing is uh, quite good here and that attracts also uh, tourists. The salmi here, salmi, S-A-L-M-I, means a sound that connects a couple of lakes here, salmi. the left and there's one a bit further out down further across on the left all the streets on your left here lead down to the lake what I'd recommend is when you get down to the lake go to your right
is going to float in because there's little single digit temperatures in the, the northern part of Norway, which is the lake that surrounds Skorpion Lake, Calabi. See a big paper mill over there on our right hand side. We are really today going into paper mill country, uh, country on the area up around the northern end of the uh, Gulf of Bosnia. In many respects, Finland did not get its independence or did not take its independence, I suppose you could say, until. Just come off the highway for a little while here to go through the small town of Isalmi. Isalmi. Houses, and almost every Finnish town has a small selection of, and um, there's a couple are coming up here on the right hand side. And here you can see an even wider uh, belt here, an even wider fire belt here in the middle with two rows of trees. Nice old Karelian house. Another time we came up here, they needed little coats and uh, tree mittens, you know, that they had uh, uh, put on the trees. It's, there's always some kind of little sculpture theme here for the summer. Under leadership of Colonel Sandel. So now we're crossing here at the Collion Virta, and just on the other side on the left is the uh, unusual statue of uh, the young Lieutenant Stoll that distinguished himself in this battle. Very pretty little spots. And over here on our left, the statue. Um, a wooden statue of the brave young lieutenant. Not quite what you normally see. Quite an unusual statue of the young soldier. Uh, subsidized from the state because it is in the interest of the state to make sure that the country is fairly self-sufficient. As we uh, head in a more westerly, northwesterly direction, we're also gradually beginning to leave the uh, northern lake district behind, but we'll still see a few lakes up ahead of us. So
a great help if you can add it up also, but um, you're not obliged to do that. Otherwise, I will do it. So um, uh, we've got um, Finland and um, feeding their little ones in their burrows in their nests in uh, on the mountain. Ganes. Kairanga is an absolute divine <laughs> spot on earth. Some would say the most scenic place in Norway, the scenic highlights of any trip. pedestrian street again is seven eight minutes walk up from uh, the ports so uh, that's where you'll also find cafes and so on we'll in uh, uh, Ulo we'll see some more a bit further down and um, we're almost down so hopefully not widows and uh, then we go up here to the right and now you have the old This is a more elegant, older part of um, uh, Olo. And uh, get a close look at the cathedral here. It's, if there's no service, it's a moment. We will be stopping by the uh, monument to the 400. And it was put up here in 2005 when Olo was celebrating its 400 years of existence. It's 32 little statues. And And uh, that's why we're going to park up and the coach will be in the same place when you come back for after lunch. And uh, you see it's not far to walk up here if you want to explore more in this area.
about the, so the, the I'll go on there. That's the name. That's the name. She said that's name. <coughs> <coughs> oh, the nicest little towns. moment runs parallel from the north um, with the uh, Kemiyaki, the longest river in Finland, which will cross a little bit later. But now river Simo and a little bit further up you'll see a sign saying Lapileni, Lapileni. The, that means uh, Lapland in Finnish.
here in uh, Kimi and uh, they are going to build this castle, uh, continue building it for a very, very long time, I think, because it's really meant everything to uh, this place. And um, one way they, we can see that, now it's quite a number of years, Tervola is a modern little town, but uh, they have found traces of habitation here going right back to the Stone Age. So um, this has been a, a good sheltered little spot by the river, with food in the forest and in the river. The Kimiyaki is a salmon spawning river, so um, it's been uh, inhabited for a very long time. Beautiful view here of the Kami Yoki. And the church over here, there's actually two churches. The one with the tower is from 1865, and the one to the left with the steep roof that looks like a little barn, that's from 1665. 1665 and 1865. It's lovely. Highest cemetery. We have it back in town and at 2 o'clock in the afternoon we have our uh, trip to the uh, Arcticum and the Pioneer Farm for coffee and apple cake. Terry, Terry will be driving for us all day and evening tomorrow and uh, also the day after tomorrow to so we're just going to make a little photo stop here there's uh, like a, a little dam here and then there's uh, a small island and you can take pictures on both sides, but please, uh, although it is vehicles up to uh, six seven tons that are allowed to drive uh, so a van can drive but not look how scruffy his fur looks and that's because he's growing a new winter fur the velvets on their antlers that means that the antlers are growing and then they're very sore and soft they don't like us to touch them but um, yeah. Yeah, See here along the shores, it's also very nice to uh, walk here, so uh, nice evening walks here by the river.